So in today's video, we are going to solve this problem in MATLAB. If you want me to solve any problem for you, then you can post your question in comment section or you can share your entire assignment with me in our telegram group. The link to join the telegram group is in the description of this video. So first let's understand this problem and then we are going to write a program in MATLAB to solve this question. So basically this problem says if a stationary ball is released at a height 80 from the surface level and at that point of time the velocity will be v0. The initial position of the ball and the initial velocity of the ball will be the function of time and that is given using these two equations the position of the ball and the velocity of the ball. In this equation g is the acceleration due to gravity h which is the height of the ball v will be the vertical component of velocity and what do we supposed to do we supposed to plot a graph that plots height and velocity of a ball as a function of time so basically it wants to tell that we supposed to create a graph where one plot shows height versus time graph and the another plot shows velocity versus time graph and in both this graph the initial height and velocity we can take as of our choice and uh, uh, yes, we are supposed to give appropriate labels to the graph. So this is what we are supposed to do. So with this information, now let's get started to write the code. So in first step, what we are going to do. So in first step, we ask the user to input the initial height and initial velocity because they told that we can take it as of our choice. So here we are going to use input function in MATLAB, which prompts the user to enter the initial values. So by these two lines, we are entering the initial value of height as well as initial velocity. In next step, we are going to define the value of gravity g because we are going to use g in our equation, right? So here we are going to define parameters. We'll write something here also. So here we are taking input from the user, right? Now we'll go ahead. After defining the parameter like gravitational acceleration, now it's time to create a time vector. Now in this entire problem, they have not asked us that for what amount of time we supposed to calculate this, right? So in this case, we can take time as of our choice. We can take 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever time span we want, we can take. So now here by this command line space, we are creating a time vector. The starting value of the time vector will be 0, the ending value will be 10 and there will be total 100 values of time in this vector. So till now we have defined almost everything, right? So now it's time to write the equation for height and velocity. So by writing these two lines, we are writing the equation for height and velocity. H is equal to 1 half into G into T square. Now here I have written T dot raised to 2. Now what does this dot means? This dot indicates square by element wise. And over here I have not provided any dot. That means this T is a matrix, right? So this G is multiplying directly to this matrix. But over here T dot raised to 2 means each and every element of this T matrix will be squared separately. Now, once we have completed writing the code for this H and V, after this, a matrix of H is ready with us. The matrix of T is already with us. So here we can plot H versus T graph and then after we can plot V versus T graph. So here we are going to plot two graphs in one figure only. And for that, we are going to use subplot function. So first we'll plot a graph for height. Writing this line, we are creating a figure. In that figure, we are creating subplot of two jam one. That means two row, one column. And in this two row, one column matrix, this figure will be the first one. That means this one. So after defining the location of graph, we are creating a plot. Plot T comma H. That means horizontal axis will be time and vertical axis will be edge. 
we are providing line width of 2 so we can have a solid graph then we are providing title to the graph x label y label and we have made grid on now we are going to create a graph for velocity versus time so by writing this we are going to create a graph of velocity versus time so here we are ready with our entire code now first of all we'll just save this thing so we have saved this code and now let's run this so when we run it will ask us enter the initial height so let's say we are standing on ground right so our initial height is zero now let's enter and then it asks us enter the initial velocity now let's say we are throwing the ball with the velocity of 50 let's enter and this is our graph we are standing on a ground if we throw the ball with the velocity of 50 it will reach peak by 5 second and again will reach back to ground after almost 10 seconds and this is the graph of velocity versus time now let us change this graph a bit let's run it again initial height let's say this time we are at the height of 30 meter and this time we are throwing the ball with the velocity of let's say 40 meter per second and there we go so we are at 30 meter height the ball reaches peak at around 4 second and then it comes down and this will be the velocity versus time graph so as you can see the program plots both the height and velocity curves based on the user input that we provide so this is a simple but powerful MATLAB program to simulate the motion of falling object with custom initial conditions now it's your turn to go ahead and try different inputs to create different types of graphs. If you have found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. For more MATLAB tutorials and problem solving tips, keep connected. So see you into the next video of MATLAB.